Uh, hello, everybody. <coughs> How are we all doing today? Cool, cool, cool. Um, so I really enjoyed that song. I would like to hear some more of it. But unfortunately, the uh, network is back up. And I'm here to present anything well to you. We have some goodies at the front. If you've been walking in, you might see that we fly posted. The walls are legally, everything, all your clothes are probably stickered from us hanging out at parties and, and handing out merch. So hopefully you've seen our branding around the place. My co-founder is actually a street artist by the name of Ronzo. So everything looks very nice. Hopefully you agree. Um, and what do we do? Um, great question. Thank you for that. We bring 3D to life. Um, so we're an AI. Oh. Network. <laughs> We're an AI startup that takes static 3D models and generates skeletons and animations for them. We want to bring the whole world of 3D to life, and we want to, in the classic cheesy startup way, way be the something of something, the Canva. We want to be a Canva of 3D animation. We want to make 3D animation and creation easy and accessible to everybody, from a child to an elderly person. Um, our thesis, and well, what we're seeing is that 3D is everywhere. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Fab, Objiverse, all these 3D asset libraries, but most of those assets are static, they're not animated. Many of you, I'm sure, are familiar with Meshi, Luma, CSMs, the likes of, of, of generative AI 3D programs where you can generate 3D models with a prompt or with an image. So 3D content is exploding and being used all over the place for making games and animations and other things, exciting things like that. But we feel that animation uh, is nowhere. So apart from mocap libraries and people doing human-centric bipedal animation, um, animation for these 3D worlds is lagging behind. Uh, but not anymore because of anything world. So what we do to static 3D models is we generate a rig for them, which is a skeleton for them, and then we map animations onto them. So we have proprietary tech we've been building out over five years. We were AI before it was cool well, after it became uncool and then before it became cool again. Uh, we've been using machine learning for, for many years to understand 3D models just from their shape, generate skeletons for them, put them back together, and add animations onto them. And we can do it very quickly. We do it in a couple of minutes. Um, and that's a process that would otherwise take uh, days of a trained professional and thousands of your Earth dollars. Uh, we can do it for a couple of dollars in a few minutes. Uh, that was that slide, so I've already preempted my own amazing slides. So if, if any of you have epilepsy or anything like that, these slides may not be uh, very good for you. They're very, very colorful. Um, yeah, so we save a lot of time and money. Um, I will be jumping into a demo in a minute, so then not many more of you will leave. Um, but our tools, uh, we have 3D model generation, and we have massive uh, libraries of 3D assets. If you're making games or you want to generate assets, you can, with one line of code or with a simple interface, bring in 1,000 butterflies or 100 helicopters, and they'll all behave naturally. And you can build out living world super easily without having to model, rig, animate, or to a certain extent, code um, 3D behaviors. But the main thing that we do is the bit in the middle, animate anything. We understand 3D models and their structure. We generate skeletons for them, and we bring them to life. Uh, integrations, we're everywhere. Our plan is to come everywhere that 3D content is being created and make it easy for you. So if you're in Roblox, if you're in Unity, if you're in Blender, or if you're on the web, or even in Discord, we want to come to, we're in all those places. And with a simple uh, prompt or interface usage, you can generate an animated 3D model, and by extension, animated 3D worlds. OK, so thank you for sticking for the waffling part. Now we'll try and do a live demo on the internet connection, slash 24, everyone's favorite internet connection. Uh, the Wi-Fi is a bit dodgy, but we'll give it a go. And I will show you some of our tools. It's a good start. Start with the loading. It's a strong start. So I'll generate something here uh, specific to us, and then we'll see if we can animate it. Let's see how we get on. So uh, I don't know if anyone has a favorite animal or anything they want to shout out. Anybody have a favorite? Unicorn, Unicorn panda. OK, I'll do, I'll, I'll do a panda. I'll do something like panda wearing. A black and white T-shirt with slush on it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, internet connection dependent, this will work. And we'll have a nice example specific to this to show that live demos are a great idea in front of 200 people. If not, I have backup things I've uh, pre-animated. But yeah, that will take a couple of minutes. While we're doing that, um, I can show you some of the other stuff that we do. So we don't just generate stuff. The main thing we do is we animate stuff. So 
You can go to libraries like Fab, Objectverse. There's many, many um, uh, open source 3D libraries where you can grab 3D models. Of course, you can model your own, and you can put those through our system too. So I can show you that as well at the same time. Uh, I think I can. So yeah, you don't have to generate with us. You can just go straight to the animation stage. And I will show you that now. I've got four minutes left for this demo, so let's see how it goes. But um, hopefully you'll get a sense of how easy it is to create 3D content with us. That's still doing its thing. Um, I will call this Fox Freddy. Maybe I'll go back in the presentation while the internet's trying to work itself out. Maybe I will. OK, back into the presentation. I'll come back to the demos in a second to see how well they're cooking. But whilst the demos are taking a long time, thanks to Slush24, um, you get some more slides with fancy graphics on. So the, the core of what we do um, is we use AI our, own AI, our own proprietary machine learning, to understand 3D models and bring them to life. And what makes us different from lots of other people is we don't just concentrate on humans. Bipedal characters, we do fish, insects, scorpions, ducks all your favorite creatures. So if we're going to achieve that goal, which NVIDIA and Microsoft and many others believe we're going to achieve, which is prompt to video game, prompt to living animation, we're going to need technology that can animate anything. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're building out. In a couple of minutes, you can animate your own aardvark if you have aardvarks lying around. So that's what makes us different. That's why we're anything world. Um, yeah, we've been going for five years. We have almost 200,000 creators now as well. And if you want to generate a 3D model, animate a 3D model, go to anything.world. Uh, everyone can do two free a month. It's a freemium model. Don't do too many, because it costs us money each time. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of interesting, nice people who said interesting, nice things about us from Warner Music, from Ubisoft. And um, we were on an Accelerator with Ubisoft a while back. Let's check in on our models and see how things are going. OK, I think this guy's been generated now. Let's see. So we've got a few minutes left. OK, there's our panda. OK, that is not a slush, but OK. Generative AI can do what it likes. But um, the different thing about us is you, can't, you don't just generate that 3D asset. Now you can animate it. I will show you that now. So you can see this is a fully 3D asset. Um, I'll kick it on at the animation system. In the meantime, this fox is uh, ready to preview. And I can take you like very quickly through, as said, with anything well, we animate everything and anything. So you can see the specificity, which is a word I practice saying a lot because it's tricky, of stuff that we animate. So from giraffes to all sorts of stuff, birds, insects, we really are trying to bring the world to life uh, in that kind of way. So yeah, I'll kick off this guy. I'll put him into the rigging system. And then hopefully, by the end of this presentation, we'll have a bunch of animated stuff. Let's think of a name for our panda. Uh, yeah, calm on internet, you can do it. Or maybe you can't. OK. Let's put this guy through as a type of man, which is a bit of a cheat, but he's standing up. So I hope we can get uh, as far as we need to get by the end of the presentation. So yeah, so now both of those guys are getting rigged. While they're, do that, while they're doing that, I will go back into my exciting presentation and hope that I haven't reached the end slide yet. I almost have. Yeah, like I say, our goal is to be the first ones to be able to generate living video games, living animations uh, with a simple text prompt. Obviously, in reality, if you want fine control and interface is better, so this prompt to everything may die down a little bit in a few years' time. But yeah, we really want to allow everybody to create in 3D, animated 3D worlds, and build whatever they want super simply. And that's a goal that's shared with, yeah, like I say, NVIDIA, EA, everybody right now. And in terms of our goals as anything worlds, um, we, we just added in 3D model generation that I'm just showing you with the crazy panda. Um, we want to get to real-time rigging and animation. At the moment, as you see, especially on this rubbish internet connection, it takes a few minutes, like five minutes, to rig and animate something. We want to bring that to under a minute this year, under 10 seconds next year. Um, and what that will mean is you can, within a game, think of a Roblox-type experience. And there's about a trillion people trying to build this at the moment. Think of a game experience where you can create anything you want in 3D and have it come to life uh, at, at runtime, more or less. That's our goal. That's what we want to achieve. Generative environments are playing into that. So you can generate and animate with us, animate with us. You can generate, animate, and then create whole living worlds with us. So we're creating procedural uh, world building tools to do that as well. It says thank you, but I'm not done yet. 
Uh, because let's see how we get on. So you can see it's generated the skeleton here for this panda. Looks pretty cool. Let's generate the animations for the fox. We're doing well now. It's generated a rig, and you can see it's got like a big bushy tail, and it's generated according to the shape. That's one of the hardest things that we do in terms of the AI machine learning is to understand the shape and generate the, the rig based on the shape. It's not matching, force matching the nearest shape. And then, in a couple of minutes, we should have an animated slush panda and an animated fox that I've done right now in a live demo that has not failed, which I'm very happy about. Um, while we're waiting for these guys to do, maybe, does anybody have any questions? Any question that you ask me will get rewarded with some merchandise, uh, a sweatshirt or, or, or um, a bag. Does anybody have any questions about what they've seen? You coughed. You get, you get, um, you get a, a sweatshirt. That's almost a question. Come and help yourself to, to stuff if you would like it. I guess it's not a Q&A session, but um, back into the presentation, perhaps. Maybe I'll just dwell on this slide a bit to, to buy myself a couple of minutes. Um, we have many applications. Video games is an obvious one. Myself and my co-founder, who's been plastering all of Helsinki with, with our branding, um, is, is actually a graphic designer and street artist. So we come from a background of independent video games, so we've made PlayStation games, mobile games, we didn't know how to generate 3D content or animate 3D content. Our biggest uh, growing sector is animation right now. Uh, we're talking to the likes of Universal, Disney, all those guys. Um, you see Marvel's name up there. Um, we think we can power them up as well. Um, so yeah, video games and animation are the two obvious sectors, but education, there's a play, socials, we're talking to TikToks and those kind of people imagine you know, generating 3D content, not just 2D content in the likes of CapCut would be super cool. And, come on guys, and 27%. Would anybody like a sweatshirt? Come and get one if you would like some merchandise. And uh, come on, 30. The more people stand up, the faster the bar goes. That's how it works. It's like watching a kettle. Anyway, um, have I gone over time by too much? Oh, it, have I got a couple more minutes? One more? Okay, one more minute. Yeah. So I'll show this slide again. But yeah, it's definitely an interesting time in terms of 3D content generation. We're seeing the likes of uh, obviously the GPTs, the Midjourneys making 2D imagery, uh, Sora and the others making. Um, videos, but our problem is more of a specific one. It's not like a massive LLM where you crunch all the, all the words on the internet. You can't just trawl the internet for all the animations, all the videos of an aardvark and make a perfect 3D aardvark. It's a lot more specific than that. So we're not really like um, a trillion terabyte data problem. We're not buying our own power stations yet to, to power all this stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a bit more specific. I will stop. Oh, hey, there we go. OK. Thank you for all those that have shown the patience to stay to the end of the chat. It's an animated panda. Looks a little weird, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Come on, Panda. This internet connection is absolute dog water, so thank you for your patience and thank you for listening to my bumbling words as I finish my presentation too early. But you can see we've created something bespoke and animated it just in a couple minutes. So, yeah, I would encourage you all to. Check us out, go to Anything World, try some animations. This won't be perfect. You can tweak the rig as you go along, but still, in a couple of minutes to generate something in 3D and have it animated, <laughs> it's a funny looking thing, is, is pretty cool, I think. I think we'll agree. And the fox is done as well. He's doing some walking. I'll, I'll make him jump to show you his nice bushy tail. But yeah, that's us. It's time off for me. I've taken up too much of your time. Thank you so much for uh, listening to me, and hopefully, check us out. Thank you so much.